Well, hello, Audacious Church. I hope you are doing well today. Welcome to another week of our awesome Audacious Devotionals. My name is Joel Richards, and I'm from our Manchester Central Campus. And me and my amazing wife, Amy, are the youth pastors here. Give a whoop whoop in the comments for youth. Yeah, love it. There you go. Drop an emoji in there as well. And uh, we're going to be continuing today our series of devotions around balmy Bible stories. Uh, We've been doing this over the last couple of weeks in church and we're continuing it in our devotions today. And it is my honour and privilege to be sharing over this next week, over this next five days, about a crazy, wild story in the Bible about Balaam and his talking donkey. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Joel, have you got confused with the Bible and Shrek? Like, have you got a little bit muddled? I know it's early in the morning when I'm filming this. No, I am not getting confused. There is a talking donkey, a true story in the Bible about Balaam and his talking donkey. And it's found in the Old Testament. A lot of crazy stories in the Old Testament. You can read about all sorts of them. Uh, And it's found in the book of Numbers. So the book of Numbers uh, is where we're finding this story. And over this next week, we're going to be unpacking. And let me give you some context about the book of Numbers really quickly, okay? The book of Numbers follows the journey of Israel, God's chosen people, on their kind of experience and journey through the wilderness. So this is post them coming out of um, of uh, Egypt, out of slavery, but it's pre them entering the promised land. So it's this whole story and journey of Israel going through the wilderness. And uh, you'll see a lot in this whole book of Numbers about their struggles, their battles and their mess ups. And really it's outlining a 40 year journey of where they learn to trust God and put him first. And this is just one snippet that we're going to be looking at over this next week found in Numbers 22. So let me give again some context of what we're finding in this story. So Numbers 22, Israel has been on a bit of a war path. So they have been fighting and conquering kingdoms and uh, they are on a journey to the promised land. And after defeating the Ammonites, that's a mouthful, the Ammonites, they find themselves camped near Jericho, near uh, near Jericho. And the people who are in the land, who are seeing them camp, are called the Moabites. And the Moabites are getting pretty nervous. They're like, okay, they, they've conquered a few kingdoms. Are we next? We're getting nervous. So it's this whole story of this king called King Balak. And King Balak is king of the Moabites and he's getting nervous that Israel are going to conquer them next. So what does he do? He sends a message to a man called Balaam. Who is Balaam? Well, Balaam is described in the Bible as a wicked prophet. He is a prophet, not wicked as like, that's so like wicked, whatever. Oh, don't do that. That's not cool anymore, apparently. Uh, Not like wicked like that. Oh, he's super cool. We're talking about an evil prophet called Balaam. And he's pretty much a prophet for hire. He will go to the highest bidder. He will kind of bless or curse nations and people. And Barak, goes, sends a message to Balaam and says, I need your help. And Balaam gets on his donkey eventually after getting this message a couple of times and goes to see King Barak and give him some help. And uh, it's a whole crazy story and it's going to unfold. So what we're going to do today is, I know I've done a big intro there, it gives you the context. What I want you to do today in our devotions is read the entirety of Numbers 22. I want you to read this whole chunk of scripture and I want you to take some time to actually write down some thoughts that you have about this story. It's a crazy one. It's a wild one. It's real. It's not Shrek. This is a talking donkey in the Bible. And I want you to read that whole thing and get a bit of context before we do these next four or five days looking at this and pulling out some wisdom from it. Do that over this next day. Read Numbers 22. Write down some thoughts and join me tomorrow as we look at one lesson that we can pull from this crazy, balmy story.